Hello friends, I am Dr. Rahul Kulkarni. I am practicing as a consultant medical oncologist in Pune. Now in this video, particularly we are going to discuss on a very important cancer and particularly that is very important in India and that is lung cancer. Now lung cancer in India, it comes in the top cancers and especially in the men, but now it is also increasing in females. And the most important cause of lung cancer in India is exposure to tobacco, that is tobacco smoking in any forms that is cigarette or BDs. The more number of cigarettes you smoke and the more number of years you smoke that is going to increase the proportionate risk of lifetime development of lung cancer. Also it is very important that even if you are not smoking but if you are exposed to the exhaled smoke of your nearby near or dear ones that is called as passive smoking and that too for a prolonged period of time or number of years then that can also ultimately increase the risk of development of lung cancer. So, it is very important that smoking not only increases your risk of lung cancer, but it also can increase the risk of your near and dear ones. Now, apart from smoking, there are also some other risk factors like exposure to the smoke or exposure to the dust or pollution or sometimes exposure to some of the heavy metals like asbestos, particularly for a prolonged number of years that can sometimes increase the risk of lung cancer. Now interestingly, in recent years, there has been an increase in the incidence of lung cancers in never smokers or in those patients who are not having any of the risk factors. And especially these kind of lung cancers are more likely because of some mutations. And that is one of the good things that now we can target these kind of mutations with the newer and newer targetable treatments. So let us begin with understanding what are the symptoms of lung cancer. The most common symptoms of lung cancer include a chronic cough more than 3 weeks, coughing of blood in the sputum, change in the voice, breathlessness, occasionally chest pain or loss of appetite, weight loss, fatigue. Sometimes if the lung cancer is advanced and spread to the bones, it can present with bone pains or sometimes patients can even be asymptomatic and can be picked up on routine screening. But very importantly, all these symptoms can also be present in a disease which is very very common in India and that is tuberculosis. So the most common mistake which happens in India is to confuse tuberculosis with lung cancer and many times these patients are misdiagnosed or mistreated with the anti-tubercular treatment and somehow these patients they present to us in a very advanced stage. So it is very important that if you have any of these symptoms, please don't neglect these symptoms and please consult a proper specialist and get yourself evaluated properly and a proper diagnosis has to be done. So let us see how we diagnose or proceed with the management of lung cancer. So when any of the patient has above mentioned symptoms, we after doing some routine blood test and a routine chest x-ray and if there is a doubt of lung cancer, the most important and the first investigation which we do is a CT scan of the lung and the upper abdomen. So a CT scan can properly tell what is the type of the lesion or what is the type of the mass and what is the location of the mass and based on that we can base our further investigations. Now when the CT scan is done and when we have a, a doubtful mass or the lesion, the next important step is to confirm the malignancy and the confirmation is done by a biopsy. Now biopsy does not only confirm the malignancy but it can also help to tell the type of lung cancer. That is very important because nowadays we do not treat lung cancer as one individual disease, we treat lung cancer based on its types. So there are various types of lung cancer like adenocarcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, small cell, large cell carcinoma and the treatment of lung cancer is different for each and every type of lung cancer. So depending upon the CT scan findings and depending upon the location of the tumor, a biopsy can be done either under the guidance of CT scan or can be done under bronchoscopic guidance. Sometimes there can also be fluid in the lungs and we can also obtain the fluid for testing and it can also serve the purpose for diagnosis of malignancy. Now once the diagnosis of malignancy is confirmed, the next imaging investigation generally can be a PET CT scan and with the help of PET CT scan we can understand at what all sides the cancer has already spread and based on that we have to plan the further treatment accordingly. Sometimes we also can advise a MRI of the brain to see if the cancer has spread to the brains as well. So once we have all the information that is imaging, biopsy and staging, we then sit together and formulate a treatment plan which is specific for that particular patient. Now a few years or maybe a decade ago, lung cancer was considered to be a death sentence. But now in the era of modern oncology, this statement does not hold true. 
Now, if we detect uh, lung cancer in early stages that is in stage 1, stage 2 or early stage 3 uh, uh, cancers, we can also do surgeries for these lung cancer patients and completely remove the tumor. Also, if the patient is detected at a little advanced stage that is late stage 3, these patients can also be cured by high dose radiation and chemotherapy. So, it is very important that we detect the lung cancer at the earliest possible stage and that can help us to cure lung cancers completely. However, unfortunately in India still more than 70 percent of the patients with lung cancer are diagnosed at a very advanced stages that is in stage 4. Initially few years down the line a median survival of stage 4 lung cancer used to be around 6 months. But now we have lot of drugs in the armamentarium of treatment of lung cancer. So, whenever a patient of lung cancer is diagnosed in stage 4, we do some molecular testing like uh, EGFR testing, ALK or ROS testing and if these tests are positive which may happen in around 30 to 40 percent of the patients, we can now treat such kind of patients with only simple targeted therapies. And with the use of these fantastic drugs, we are able to prolong the survival of these lung cancer patients by numerous years and at the same time the patients can also have a very very good quality of life. We now also have wonderful chemotherapy drugs which are very safe and effective and that are also increasing the survival of stage 4 lung cancer patients. The newest addition in the armamentarium of treatment of lung cancer is immunotherapy. Now immunotherapy is a form of treatment which stimulates our immune system to fight against the tumor cells. But at the same time it is very important to know that it cannot be used in all patients, we need to do some specific testing that is PDL1 and if it is positive in certain ranges then only we can use immunotherapy but also under the guidance of your properly trained medical oncologist. Again these therapies are currently a bit expensive but definitely immunotherapy is changing the treatment paradigm of lung cancer and it has created a boom in the treatment management of lung cancer in the current era. So friends. The simplest thing which we can do for preventing this lung cancer is to avoid smoking. And also it is very important to know that lung cancer is now not to be feared about. We can surely cure lung cancer if we detect early and now we can also manage lung cancer in the advanced stages like we manage our all our chronic illnesses. So lung cancer has now become a chronic disease. Thank you very much. I hope this video has served the purpose of providing the information about lung cancer and its treatment management. If you have any of the doubts regarding lung cancer, please feel free to uh, share your views and your comments on the below mentioned link and we will be more than happy to answer all your queries. Thank you very much.